Right now in the studio, though, I have a Detroit rapper, female rapper, that was chosen to represent the United States as the cultural ambassador to Africa. Detroit, I'd like to introduce to you someone who I spelt, felt spiritually. I got my eyes closed because I can still feel the vibe. Miss uh, Mahogany Jones, what's Hello, up? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> How are you? I am good. <laughs> Just so proud of you Thank and this you. honor. We're going to go more into detail. We have uh, also from Memphis, Tennessee, <laughs> Rosalind Welch in studio with yes, us. How you doing? I am well. I'm so happy to be here with you. Girl, I'm glad to have you. Yeah. And I need Mahogany to just fill us all in. What, what's, what's going, going on? on? Yes. Um, well, there's a program that is sponsored by the U.S. Cultural Department, the State Department. And it's run through American Voices. And pretty much they are looking for different creative ways to build cultural diplomacy. Back up a little bit. American Voices. American Voices, yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. And American Voices, along with the State Department, are looking for different ways to build diplomacy um, with internationally, all across the world. And so they get different bands, different genres of music to go all throughout the world to represent the U.S. and to interact with the people in the different countries and jam out. So you were selected to be the ambassador to Africa. Yes. Okay, tell me about this honor. What does this mean? Well, this means we'll be going to five countries, uh, Botswana, Uganda, Zambia, Rwanda, and Ethiopia. That's right. And we'll be doing workshops with youth there, health workshops, music industry workshops, um, music workshops. And we'll be performing uh, some of our music and getting a chance to collaborate with them musically. And um, You and are going to be... In well, heaven. Yeah, no. Mahogany, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, through a huge blessing from God, I got an opportunity to spend time in West Africa. Mm -hmm. um, I do a tribute to Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. So I got a chance to go over there, invited me to mm -hmm. come over and do my whole show. But the biggest part of that experience, and I want you to remember this, is, was going into the villages. It wasn't mm -hmm. the nice plush hotels. Mm -hmm. It was the, mm -hmm. the villages where mm -hmm. I actually got to go. And we didn't speak the same language, but... We could use our eyes. I showed them how to make instant rice, how to make tuna fish, you know, instant stuff that I could carry with me when I travel yeah. overseas because the food get a little different. But she been talking about this you just gave us trying a to kill Thank me. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. She been well, trying to kill me for a while with what she's going to tell you. I'm going to give me some instant tuna. You know, what? I like my tuna. Huh? No, I'm being nice right now, too. No, but you're going you to tell them about what you know how to make that you've been trying to make for me. For peanut years. butter soup. Uh, if you go over there, ask them about peanut butter soup. She says she know how to make it. I can make peanut butter soup. But the biggest thing, yeah, they taught me how to make peanut butter soup. I taught them how to make instant rice. But what I remember, I went to Mali. And again, we don't speak the same language. And I'm like, Mali, in the house. Come on, y'all. Mali, in the house. So the kids, if I ever go back, they're going to be like, the, as adults, Mali. No. <laughs> so, Mahogany, this is going to be huge for you. And I gave away all my jewelry. It was, you know, nothing, you know, no diamond. I'm not to, yeah. But I'm saying, like, earrings, you know, yeah. just things that they don't get a chance to see. And for you to have the opportunity to go over there and share your music, that's just going to be a, such a treat. I, I want to talk more to you. Also, Rosalyn Welch from Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> I got to do some uh, weather and traffic for you right now. But we're going to come back. You guys want to stick around for yeah. a minute? I got to shout this out by Lauren L. Boo Johnson of Detroit. Who was that? Well, okay, so this is, this is <laughs> the deal. This is, out. Let me break it down. I'm breaking it down. Okay, so Roslyn is with me. I got the opportunity to do it um, or to audition, but I couldn't do it alone. I needed an ensemble. And so in a month, we compiled a vocalist, which is Miss Roslyn Welsh now. Okay. Um, a DJ. <laughs> Give it up for the DJs. And then we had to put together, um, and then we got a drummer, and that's... L. Boog, Lauren Johnson. All right. So we all got together and we said, y'all, let's make some soup. We're about to make some music for the people. And, uh, <laughs> and then we just came together. We did our audition and um, it went well. And so actually, um, Rosalind is, is a new addition um, and my DJ is a new addition. But God made it all come together. So I'm just excited. All right. Again, you are hearing from Mahogany Jones. She has been chosen to represent the United States as a cultural ambassador to Africa. And you'll be visiting, um, you, pardon me, Rwanda, Uganda, right? Uganda, 
Zambia, Ethiopia, and Zambia. Zambia, thank you. Now this is some music they gave me. We're gonna check it out, Detroit. When you confuse, turn to the sun. When you in pain, turn to the sun. And even when things is all good, turn to the sun. I knew this sister was a master of the black belt Not a self-defense or self-help She catch plenty back quotes from plenty black belts Lashing from the hands of men who the cards dealt the raw steel She was gas vibes, mass appeal First name was still, and they met up state Caught a case with the Jakes Already caught a case for his taste for jail bait Me and her just would raise the stakes She was none the wiser, he loved them young and dumber She was a sweet 13, I was his favorite number Chocolate velveteen, Vicky far from small wonder. Shake was harder than the earthquake, chocolate thunder. And she loved to see the hunger in his eyes. Never figured years later it would eat her alive. Rape her self respect and molest the pride. Had her turning out tricks, selling their inside. She was a gem. He stole a clean. She was a Introduce you to the Nazarene OG, Mr. Clean, specialist in spiritual hygiene. He throwing out hobbies if you cross the road. If you're lost, don't worry, just follow the light home, man. I've seen hard times, worse times, but I see better times whenever I close my eyes and I. Again, will be representing the United States as a cultural ambassador to Africa. Just recap that for me. Well, it's um, again put on by the U.S. State um, Cultural and Educational Department. It is run through American Voices. Um, it's a program that they do yearly, and it's actually in the legacy of the Jazz Ambassadors Program. So it's the program that initially set Dizzy Gillespie out. Um, internationally and um, we'll be there for six weeks we'll be going to five countries and we'll be representing America and creating good positive relations and um, just getting to exchange with our brothers and sisters and overwhelmed humbled and just this lets me know and everything let me read with you out this opportunity means a lot out of all the people that could have been selected I was chose to represent my country and not just America Oh, you say a moment like that. Artists like you, why Africa Radio, know that, for real. Because Open Doors is what opens doors. Yeah, me too. Come on, try Come on, try That's how we went through all of this, to try to, so we can spotlight artists like you. I love it. Okay? Me too. Me too. When you see the movie, you're going to be like, I get what she's saying, for real.